I don't think people will ever be able to grasp what New York was unless they were there. To walk down the ER and see stretchers in the hallways and you don't know if patients are alive or dead. It took a couple of weeks to realize how people present it. What you found out is that you can predict who's going to die. And I'm not talking about just nurses. I'm talking doctors. I'm talking environmental staff, case managers, social workers, people out because they're sick with this. So my fear was, am I next? A lot of those nurses will die from this because they do not have the appropriate equipment. And then came the, wow, we were the most trusted profession. We thought we were the most loved as well. For black people, two pandemics collided. On May 25th, 2020, when Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin killed George Floyd. All of this stuff has been going on for decades. The only difference is that it's being filmed. It is very difficult to deal with the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement. Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. We've all had to face the difficulties that led up to, to this movement. People do not realize how mentally and physically exhausted the profession is. Mental health for me right now is hidden behind a smile and a happy face. I'm quick to tell people, oh, you need to go see somebody. You know, they got medication for that. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here suffering in silence. 